So the first trick I'm going to show is how to backstab a target who is moving towards you. So how you do this is when the target is moving towards you, right, if you just steal and then backstab them, you're going to front stab them. So how do you backstab something that's going to like be facing you, but from the back? right because you want the extra damage from backstab well, what you do is they need to be moving towards you right and then you stealth up and then you turn your camera as you're doing your steal backstab and then you steal backstab while while you're following through with your camera turn like this and you see I I turn the camera first a little bit and then I steal and backstab like you you want to use the backstab almost like instantly as you steal so that you have like there's time between the start of your animation of your backstab and the the steal right because if you precast the backstab too much like so if you you cast the backstab and then you try to like put the steal right at the end of the backstab it's going to be harder to do so you want to like cast backstab and then steal immediately after and then keep fall so you do like um basically turn camera a little bit backstab and then steal immediately after you press backstab and then keep following with the, the camera turn and then you'll get the backstab from behind just like this and the next tip is going to be using your camera and your movement to gain better line of sight on your uh, short bow skills. So we all know that infiltrator's arrow is a projectile, which means that it can be line of sighted by terrain. And if there's terrain that's like higher than your character, then you usually want to jump. Or even if you're on level terrain, you want to jump so that your arrow goes as far as possible and you get the max distance. But um, sometimes jumping isn't good enough to get you that max distance. So as you can see here, what I do is I jump backwards. And the way that you want to do this is you want to um, cast your infiltrator's arrow and then turn your camera to like a 90 degree so that you're able to move sideways while uh, jumping to the right. So it's kind of like you're jumping backwards but you're really just jumping to the side while turning to the right and that gets you the most distance because if you jump backwards right moving backwards is um it's slower than just moving forwards or to the side sort of like if you hold forward and like to the side it while you're aiming to the side like it gives you the same effect as going backwards but you're faster so you want to do that to kind of like get yourself further away from the terrain than originally you were and instead of like just walking backwards and then jumping because um, that's slower right so 